My name is Carrie Blankenship and I started the Maryland Student Flash Mob. The tradition of the flash mob is awesome. Being around all the students who are so passionate about Maryland basketball and spending the entire day ready for the game is so much fun. So I was visiting another basketball game and uh, they did a flash mob in the student section. I immediately envisioned how our students are arranged and how maybe something like this would translate to a venue like Xfinity Center. So I approached our dance team coach, Annie Kennedy, and I said, I have this crazy idea. I want to do a student flash mob at Maryland. Do you have any suggestions? And she said, I have the perfect person for you. Her name is Megan, and she's a senior on the dance team. Megan and I then proceeded to meet over the course of a few months to plan the flash mob. I identified the Duke game as the best opportunity to preview this idea of the flash mob. We decided not to tell the students that there was gonna be a flash mob in advance. We introduced them to Megan. Megan took the mic. She's always full of energy and um, really easy to listen to. And she led them through the very first break of the song and an entire section was involved in that. And there was an instant buzz in the arena. And so sure enough, game time comes, the music hit and the first section of students stood up and the rest was history. Every fan in the arena all of a sudden realized what was going on. There was not a person that wasn't watching. By the end of the performance, I think that our fans were so proud of what our students were able to provide in terms of an exciting um, tradition being born at Maryland. I remember seeing that first flash mob on YouTube. I think it had a couple million views at that time, and I couldn't be more honored to continue that really cool tradition that Maryland basketball has. If fans only knew that flash mob planning actually happens about five months, six months before the actual event, so I meet with Megan and Jen, the choreographers. We start thinking of the theme, picking out songs, figuring out the dance moves, and then actual execution, we open the gates for students to come three hours before. Megan and Jen teach all the students that year's flash mob moves, and when it comes to that certain time out, it all comes to life. As a student, I've been a part of it, and it's just amazing, like the atmosphere of being in the arena and everyone coordinated and dancing and it's just so much fun. My most memorable flash bomb has to be last year. It was the day of college game day. We did a really cool card trick that year, which was the first time ever. And then part two of my most memorable flash mobs was last year as well with the light mob that we did, which was one of the coolest things ever. And to be honest, I still watch it and get goosebumps. Maryland is a very special place to me and the opportunity to create traditions that allow our fans to really dive into and express their passion for such a special place is really meaningful to me and um, something I'll take with me forever.